What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another review and we are looking at the boy himself, Ryan Ken. Oh my god, the nightmares. The nightmares I had from this guy last year was hell. It was to the point where I had to actually sit there and try to just defend this guy because if you got this guy in behind your defensive line, you might as well put you down your controller because he was not going to stop. You know for a fact that he was going to shoot the ball and you know for a fact the ball was going to go into the back of the net. It's simple as that. Now, do I believe this card is just going to be as overpowered as that card last year? No chance, all right? He's a 79 in form. There is some negatives to this card, like the shooting isn't great. The dribbling with the right chem style, aka the marksman chem style, looks absolutely incredible. And we all know Ryan Ken has got a lot of pace, so he's still got that to his locker. Now, when it comes down to comparing this card to his original silver card, we are looking at a plus 5 to pace. A plus 9 to shooting, a plus 10 to passing, a plus 7 to dribbling, a plus 7 to defending, and a plus 9 to physicals as well. EA definitely tried to bring back this car, let's just say that. Now he is a 5 for 8 player, high, medium, work rates, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot. Nothing has really changed, let's all be fair. The guy, it's just got the skill moves, the weak foot, the work rates, and the height, all perfect for that winger position. He cost me 74k, which is kind of expensive, but it's kind of understandable. Now, as I said, Marksman chem style perfect for him. The reason I say that is because the ball control and the dribbling for me is something that needs to get upgraded especially if you're trying to play this guy down the line yeah you could obviously argue the pace is most likely not going to be enough to get past like the Alfonso Davises, the Ferdinand Mendes, the Samedos and all of that but I still feel like Ken is probably going to still try to get past him and he's most likely going to su succeed as simple as that so for me what my goal was was to try to make him feel as good as possible on the ball so he has got 94 acceleration and 93 sprint speed so pace is insane shooting ability he's got a 75 attacking positioning 83 finishing 72 shot power 82 long shots 41 volleys with the 66 penalties as well now that's a negative okay the fact that if you're trying to play this guy down the line him only having 41 volleys could be a little bit of a problem this year because you know how overpowered those rbx's towards the back stick are and you know for a fact he is most likely going to volley it with him only having 41 volleys that could obviously miss the whole target or it could go straight at the keeper and it could end up getting saved so that for this year could be a problem obviously last year that was not a problem he hasn't got any shooting traits which is obviously understandable passing ability doesn't look at like you know the end of the world but it doesn't look insane either 81 vision 79 crossing 79 short passing 73 long passing with the 71 curve but look at his dribbling stats like look at this 99 agility straight off the rip 95 balance 75 reactions 90 ball control 93 dribbling with the 75 composure as well you best believe this guy's gonna feel agile on the ball now when it comes down to the physicals 80 stamina that's something new he's not gonna last for the whole 90 minutes which is obviously gonna be a good thing but i doubt this guy's gonna be a starter i really doubt and this guy's gonna be a super sub and you know it for a fact he has got a 72 strength 68 jumping and the 50 aggression to his game as well now, when it comes down to the links, obviously he's from the Scottish League, so it's like, you know, links is not really easy, but he is English, so I have gone for Akin Fenwa and Milner. I believe this is the first review that I've actually had Akin Fenwa in for a very, very long time. Either way, I've also got like some Mason Mount, Morris, and Allen in this team as well. I will be playing Ken in a 4 4 2 in that left mid position, but I kind of want to try him in a striker position as well, just to see, like, how much. How much trouble he can give center backs when it comes down to him actually playing in a striker position. I want to know how fast he can actually run in behind. But let's get into the games. Ken down the line. This is what we expect, right? We expect him to run. Look at him. Look at Gomez catch up to him. That's something that we didn't obviously see last year. A few step overs, bring a bit of ball roll. Oh my God, look at that agility. Pen. Oh my god, the agility on how he feels on the ball looks absolutely incredible. Now we are going to put him on a penalty and we are going to see if we can actually get a goal of him. Gomez kind of outpaced him there, but he couldn't really handle him when he was going for those little twists and turns. Come on, let's see. Ken, are you going to step up to the plate? He's got that 66 penalties to his game, so hopefully he doesn't miss this. I'm going to go for a top bins finish and I am going to go for a chip. Come on, the fingers. Come on, there you go. Green time and we should be okay. He's moved all the way over. If you move all the way over to that side, you literally have no chance of saving a top binge chip. Going to send him in behind. Come on, Ken. Use that pace. Take that touch. Look, at, look, this is what annoyed me last year, by the way, as well. Look how many bounces this guy gets. Literally, he got a bounce off Gomez and now he's getting a bounce off this guy. Going to bridge it. Oh, I tried to get around him. That's so bad for me, though. 
Nice little... He takes those precise touches, which is really, really good to see. Yeah, look, this is what I mean, boys. Look how many bounces this guy gets. It's absolutely ridiculous. Five-star weak foot, but because he hasn't got that shot power to his game, that doesn't go in. That's something that you obviously do want to see. The fact that those chances aren't going to go in with him. Because trust me, I do want, I do not want another year of Ryan Kent literally running at me, getting all these bounces, and obviously finishing those opportunities. Aken Fenwa to Kent. If you step overs, go into the space. This chance he has to finish. Oh, okay. I actually put too much power into that. That's kind of, that's kind of not my fault. But at the same time, I don't feel like I put that much power. But I do feel like I overpowered it a little bit. Pass it up. Milner. Kent. Go for that little scoop turn there. Bull roll. Bull roll again. Oh, my God. Look at that agility. Keep going down that line. Go for that little sweat too. Oh, my God. There's no way that right back from the Dutch League, I forgot his name, actually gets onto the end of that. That's why I called him the best fullback in the best fullback in this game because he gets to some ridiculous stuff. Milner. Over to Kent. Well played. Ball right in front of him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop it. You're bringing back memories. Stop it because the fact that he could actually hold off N'Golo Kante there was quite impressive. But the fact the centre-back didn't get that ball was kind of weird, to be fair. His striker movement isn't actually too bad, you know, because I am noticing as soon as he sees my opponent select a centre-back and pushes him out slightly, he's going into, like, the open space instantly. And that's something you do want to see, especially in that striker position. Give it to Kent there. Going to go for the quick turns. I'm going to go for the long shot because why not at the end of the day? And it is going to challenge Leno. For me personally, I thought I was going to go in. Kent. You step over. Oh my god, look at that agility. Look at that dribbling. Oh, come on, Neno. Stop pulling out these wonder saves. Allen over to Kent. Gonna go for that turn. Oh, the strength. That's another problem that you're gonna see, right? The fact that he hasn't got too much strength, so he is gonna get bodied by players like Gomez off the ball. Can I go for a 1-2? I'm trying to go for a 1-2. Morris come next to me at least. Come on. There you go. Give it to him. Go for that fake shot. Bring it forward a little bit. Ball roll inside. Oh, my God. No way Nick Pope saves that. Can I go for a finish? No, I cannot. Maybe pass right there. Pass Akin Fenwa. Akin Fenwa. Ah, the thing is with Akin Fenwa, he's never going to turn, is he? Let's all be fair. But Ryan Ken, oh, he should be finishing that, lad. Come on. Ken, little flick. Give a little flick there. Give a little flick there. Go for the volley. And Pope saves it again. If you wanted a goalkeeper review for Pope, here you go. Morris on the ball. Can I give it to Ken? First time fake shot. Gonna go for a little bit of bridge. That's the thing, right? This bridge skill move is new this year. And with Ryan Kent, I can see that being so useful, especially with his pace. Morris, gonna RB RBA all the way over to Kent. Gonna go for that fake shot towards the near post. Gonna go for that power shot. And we are gonna hit crossbar in this time. I made sure I put a decent amount of shot power onto this one because I did not want Pope saving that again. Trying to go for this one too. Actually, I'm going to go for a bridge. Or maybe not. Or maybe just run straight past him and just go for a cross goal finish. Oh my God, boys. I'm telling you. The finishing, if it was slightly better. Oh my God. We could have had like eight goals with this guy already. But because the shooting ability kind of does slack on some occasions. AKA the shot power, the accuracy in some angles. It's always going to be hard to kind of finish the ball. Going to give it to Kent. A little flick. Flick over. One more flick. Flick it. Referee. Referee, oh my god, I thought he didn't give that pen there. Trust me, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I'm going to say this straight up. I literally had no idea what I was doing. I was just going for flicks. I was kind of messing around a little bit. And then this guy just comes and takes me out. And obviously, Ken, you know, not having the greatest strength, he is going to go down to the floor quite easy. Let's see if we can actually go for the top pins again. Come on. That's kind of... Oh, no, it's not... Oh, that, that is perfect, though. That is literally perfect. Oh, that is literally perfect. You're not going to get a better penalty than that. And even if the keeper... Look at that. Oh, my God. If the keeper dives that way, he's still not going to save it. Give it to Ken right here. Going to go for that quick one, too. Get him in behind as soon as possible. He's in. It's simple as that, boys. Come on. Keep running. Keep running. Nah, ref. Referee, I knew it. I knew it for a fact. I saw, as soon as I saw the slide tackle, I was like, right, all I need to do is keep running forward and we should be good to go. We're going to get another penalty. What is this? Like our third penalty already. Like, what's happening? Aim top bins once again, boys. Do you think he's going to read it this time? He might read it this time, which could be a little bit of a problem. But let's see. Oh, that's not great. That is not great. I think it's going to get saved. Yeah, that's my fault. Going to give it to Kent. A little R1 turn. Give it to Mares. Give it back to Kent. Use that pace to get into that space. Look how fast he is. My God. Little turn. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be a penalty again. Hold up a second. We got the ball. Give it to him right there. Nice little turn. 
Look at her dribbling. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my god. Do you see this guy's agility? What did you expect though? The guy has 99 agility on his base card. It's not like I boosted that with a marksman chem style. No, that's straight up. And then all I had to do was obviously boost the dribbling. And this is what you're going to get. And this is why I personally feel like marksman is the way to go, boys. So it is time to review him. Two games played, five goals scored with the zero assist as well. And I'm definitely getting memories from the Ryan Kent from last year. Now, as is he as good as the Ryan Kent from last year? No, obviously, right? Because the Ryan Kent from last year would have had way, way better shooting. He would have finished those chances that you saw multiple, multiple times. Where this guy, he got five goals in two games. But he could have came out with like eight nine very very easily he's got the pace boys he's got the passing i must admit his passing for short passes was pretty impressive the dribbling as well he's got it the stuff he hasn't got is obviously stuff like the stamina the shooting the strength the aggression all of those kind of stuff he has not got but that's what you kind of expect right with ryan kent you're gonna get a player that's running down the line you're going to get a player that's going to feel good on the ball. You're going to get a player that can shoot with either foot. You're going to get a player that has the four-star skill moves as well. So you can turn players inside out. So do I believe he is worth the 70k he is currently going for? Yes. Do I believe he will 100% drop in price? Without a doubt. He'll probably drop to like 30k. 27k so obviously hold off for now get him when he's extremely cheap or just get him in your player picks it's simple as that but do i believe this card can make like players go to the next level so let's say from a gold one to an elite three i'm gonna be honest i kind of do as a super sub especially in like let's say the 80th minute where your opponent's uh, defensive line or their midfield let's say is tired your sub on ryan and kent and let him do his magic let him do what he does best outpacing players getting in behind and obviously scoring those little opportunities that he needs to score now when it comes down to the pace i am going to give his pace i would say i would say like a 9.5 out of 10 i'm going to be real it's not the fastest i have seen like straight up right i've seen faster but he's still an extremely fast player shooting ability that's something that i was let down about right where there were certain angles that yeah it did go into the back of the net but there was other angles that i thought it was a guaranteed goal then the keeper would rather put out a wonder save or he would just not hit it into the corner so for shooting i am gonna give him i would honestly say like a 7.8 to a 7.7 .7 out of 10 something around there because it was good it just wasn't insane passing ability this is what i said right the short passing was pretty impressive where the ball pretty much went onto the player every single time with both feet because he has got that five star weak foot so for passing i am gonna give him i would honestly say like a a 7.8 out of 10 to a 7.9 out of 10 dribbling ability this is where i have to give him a high overall because my god did you see some of the dribbling this guy was doing he was turning players inside out literally so for dribbling i am gonna give him i would say I would honestly say like a 9.1 out of 10. It was definitely, definitely up there. Physicals. Stamina obviously not being enough to last throughout the whole 90 minutes in that strike or even winger position is obviously going to be a problem. But are you going to play this guy as a starting 11 player? Most likely not. You can obviously do it if you've got the English links. But like the Scottish league, hmm, it's going to be a bit questionable to get links around this guy when you're going for obviously the league. But the English nationality is going to be very, very easy to. Now the strength and the aggression... Mm, the strength was all right it wasn't like one of those ones where he would literally get pushed to a side and get hit onto the floor no right he fought for it a little bit but there was certain like occasions i must say that someone would go into him try to use strength ryan kent would fall onto the ground and get himself a penalty and that was kind of questionable because that's something i definitely do not want to see against me but something I do want to see for me, if you know what I mean. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like a, I'll probably say like a 7 out of 10. Not great. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give this card. Ooh, it's a tough one. It's definitely a tough one. Uh, I'll give it two ratings because for a starting 11 player, I am, I'll give him like a 7 point, like 7 out of 10. A 7.7 .7 out of 10 for a starting 11 player. But if you're trying to use this guy as a super sub, which is most likely what you're going to try to use him as, I would honestly give this guy like an 8.3 to an 8.4 out of 10. If he had better shooting boys, oh my god. It would be game over. We will be seeing the, the next Ryan Kent, the next Ryan Kent, the same Ryan Kent from last year. But for now, 
He's not as overpowered as last year, but he's still a very, very good player. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.